A few pages deeper into the Grand Cosmic Chronicle, the James Webb Space Telescope slowly opens its golden eye, stretching its vision across billions of light years, gazing into the unfathomable depths of creation. Its gaze locks upon GSZ-140, a galaxy blazing with furious energy, a beacon shining less than 300 million years after the fiery birth of the universe, the Big Bang. In this ancient relic of time, compact yet immensely powerful, nearly half a billion solar masses are compressed into its glowing heart. It burns with the intensity of countless newborn stars, their combined light bursting outward like sparks thrown from the furnace of creation. This galaxy is not quiet, not gentle, but alive with violent transformation. Yet brightness alone does not shock scientists. The true astonishment lies within its composition. Here, among the raw flames of the young cosmos, the telescope finds oxygen. Oxygen, the element we breathe, the element that once poured from the dying hearts of older stars, now appearing impossibly early in the cosmic timeline. To find it here is to find a contradiction. It should not exist so soon, not within only a few hundred million years of the universe's awakening. And yet, there it is, a signature carved into the starlight, telling us that GSZ-140 did not crawl through evolution, it sprinted. It transformed hydrogen, the universe's simplest building block, into heavier elements with astonishing efficiency. This rapid chemical maturity defies everything astronomers once believed about the pace of galactic growth. In the furnace of the early universe, creation was not slow and steady, it was fast, furious, and relentless. Shifting its golden gaze, Webb turns away from galaxies and focuses instead on something far humbler, a brown dwarf, a star that never fully became a star. Often dismissed as a cosmic failure, a dim, half-born sun lost between worlds of gas giants and true stars. But Webb uncovers more than failure, it finds mystery. Methane emissions flicker through its heavy atmosphere, shadows of chemical activity unfolding in silence. Faint auroral glows ripple across its surface, as though invisible hands were brushing luminous strokes across the canvas of space. These strange signals whisper of gravity's hidden influence, hinting at a secret exomoon orbiting unseen in the dark. Invisible to the human eye, this companion betrays its existence by stirring the dwarf's magnetic field leaving ripples of light behind like footprints in sand. A world revealed not by its body, but by its faint glow. Here, Webb reminds us of something profound. The universe is not empty, not silent. It is full of hidden companions, secret worlds, mysteries that exist just beyond the reach of ordinary vision. All it takes is the faintest trace, the smallest signal, to reveal a truth vast and extraordinary. Further still, Webb extends its gaze toward 14 Hercules, a cold giant planet caught in a dangerous dance. Its orbit is not smooth or steady, but tilted, unstable, and chaotic. It loops erratically, defying the elegance of perfect circles we once imagined to be the rule of the cosmos. Such instability speaks of violence, perhaps the pull of a companion star, or the disruptive arrival of a wandering interloper. Some ancient clash left this planet spiraling on a broken path, a prisoner of celestial turmoil. And here, again, Webb teaches us, planetary systems are not flawless machines, but fragile theaters of disruption. Balance is temporary. Chaos, even more unsettling, Webb's golden mirrors capture a haunting vision, a scene of planetary suicide. A Jupiter-sized world, once steady and proud in its orbit, now spirals helplessly inward toward its parent star. Every passing moment drags it closer. Every orbit tightens its noose. The relentless pull of gravity is its executioner. Soon, tidal forces will tear it apart, shredding its atmosphere, stripping away its layers, until nothing remains but whispers of gas swallowed by fire. The star itself is still young and luminous, a beacon of vitality, yet it devours its companion mercilessly. No protest, no sound, only the silent certainty of annihilation. This revelation overturns one of humanity's most comforting illusions, that planets, once formed, are eternal companions. But permanence does not exist in the cosmos. Worlds can vanish quietly, swallowed without warning, 
their histories erased in silence. Taken together, the hidden exomoon, the rapid chemical maturity of GSZ-140, the unstable orbit of 14 Hercules, and the suicidal plunge of a doomed planet, all of them weave into a single cosmic truth. The universe is restless, unpredictable, and violent. What once seemed like a calm and clockwork machine now stands revealed as a stage of relentless transformation. Stars ignite in furious bursts of nuclear fire. Galaxies bloom, colliding and merging in chaotic dances. Planets stumble into unstable paths, or spiral to their fiery graves without warning. The oxygen in GSZ-140 whispers of stellar generations rising and falling within hundreds of millions of years. The faint auroral glow of hidden exomoons proves that planetary systems are more intricate, more layered, than our telescopes once revealed. The spiral death of a gas giant shows us that permanence is not guaranteed, that survival in the universe is always temporary. Every faint signal Webb receives is not just data, it is a memory, a fossil of light carrying stories billions of years old. Each photon whispers of creation, each spectrum carries the song of destruction, each flicker of energy is the echo of a rebirth long before humanity even existed. The universe, as Webb shows us, is not calm. It is not predictable. It is a symphony of chaos, violence, and rapid change. Black holes do not wait patiently to grow. They erupt in infancy as titans of gravity, their hunger shaping the galaxies around them. Galaxies do not take eons to gently assemble. They crash together in storms of dust and radiation, forging new structures in violent bursts. Planets are not eternal. They collapse, they collide, they spiral into oblivion. Closer to home, Webb peers into nearby systems. It uncovers icy debris belts around distant suns, raw material, seeds waiting to form planets yet unborn. It reveals galaxies in collision, locked in cosmic embraces, birthing black holes not at their cores, but in the turbulent space between their crashing hearts. It finds spiral galaxies forming shockingly early, long before models said they could exist their elegant arms already winding across the young cosmos. And it shows us galaxies like Uncover Z13, born just 350 million years after the Big Bang, yet already shining with impossible maturity. The story that emerges is more profound, more terrifying, and more beautiful than we imagined. Creation was not slow. It was faster, harsher, and more unforgiving. Black holes blaze like wildfires across the cosmos. Galaxies reshape themselves in endless cycles of growth and ruin. Planets rise from dust, only to be consumed, their lives brief sparks in an eternal storm. The James Webb Space Telescope dismantles the comforting image of a calm, orderly, predictable universe. It replaces it with the vision of an untamed forge, a cosmic theater where destruction and creation are inseparable. In this vision, Earth itself feels fragile. A rare sanctuary of balance, a delicate refuge cradled within forces that elsewhere swallow planets and ignite galaxies. Webb is not merely an observer, it is a storyteller. Every ancient beam of light it gathers carries a fragment of a story written billions of years ago. Together, these fragments weave a narrative that defies expectation, yet compels us to face truths that are strange, unstoppable, and profoundly beautiful. And as Webb peers deeper still, one question lingers like a shadow. Not only what will it see next, but how will humanity adapt when the universe itself refuses to obey our